Hey guys, how's it going? It is me, Dunbar Snack Bar. Gonna be playing a game of Fight Night Round 4 for ya. Feels like I haven't played this game in some time. Like I haven't seen a friend in a long time. But I thought I would uh, play it. I know I haven't posted in some time. It's been baseball and I actually threw a Call of Duty one up there. So if you guys want to take a look at that, please feel free to do so. Uh, obviously I got through the amateur tournament. I ended up not posting it for one of two reasons. One, because I didn't think it was really that exciting. Not too many knockdowns. You know, you didn't have the the blood <laughs> and uh, the damage that comes with boxing, which I think enhances the game. I don't want to sound like I'm gruesome or I enjoy that kind of stuff, but it just adds more to the game. And one of the things I've noticed, too, is it actually has improved my gameplay being in professional because now that I don't have that mask, you know, I, I really have to worry about boxing and dodging, so... You'll see a lot more from me, you know, in that respect here in this game. But the other reason, too, I didn't post it is I deleted the files. So you can't really post anything, and I wasn't going to go back and replay it. So if you were anticipating that, I apologize. If you were not anticipating it, awesome. Works out for you. I'm Bobby O'Brien on the left-hand side in the green trunks. Uh, he's got Lucky on his belt. I'm going up against, obviously, the guy who's not on the left side. His last name is Ross, and it's been pretty evenly matched so far. I don't know how this round has been going score-wise. Like I said, it's been pretty even. I've been playing a few matches of professional already, so this isn't my my first professional match. This is the first one I've I've posted. My first match was actually pretty sweet because at the end of the amateur tournament, they go over some things with you about it, like who had the best match, who was the best boxer, who won. Um, Fortunately for me, I was in each one of those categories. But my first match was actually a rematch against what was the best match of the amateur tournament, and I ended up destroying him. Oh, my gosh. Right uppercut, right at the end. That was awesome. When I'm dazed, I can uh, get knocked down pretty quick. So that was uh, good that that happened right there at the end of the bell. I kind of lucked out on that one. Don't want to be demoralized after the first round. Like I said, so far evenly matched, so this has been a good one. And a lot of the matches have been going a lot longer, too, than obviously the four rounds of the amateur tournament. So my stamina is something I have to watch a lot more. I can't go as crazy as I used to. This guy's weakness, I found out, was body shots, so you're going to be seeing a lot more of those. And, of course, I mix up some shots to the head just to try and get him going there. But yeah, I'm not just hopping inside and just flailing my arms about like I was in the first few matches just because I knew I could. I only had four matches to worry about. Uh, these ones are going a lot longer. I think I've got a six-round one on this one. But I've had a couple that went a little bit longer than that too. And a lot that you know didn't go nearly as long because fortunately I got the knockouts. I'm still undefeated. So that's awesome. Anytime you can remain undefeated is always a, a good thing to do. Popularity is going up. So as of right now, Bobby O'Brien's in a good position. I've been having such a hard time with the training, though. Uh, for those of you who've played this, you know, obviously a lot more than I have. Um, any tips you guys might have on training would be really cool to share. You know, if you if you don't mind. I hear in uh, Fight Night Champion they're going to be changing that a lot, though. They're going to be changing quite a number of things because apparently the a lot of people said the training in here was pretty difficult. So I've been doing some auto train for some of them, some of the matches that I've done. Or sorry, some of the trainings that I've done just because no matter what I do, I can't get there. But kind of a funny thing about Champion is one of the things that they decided to do is eliminate what they called the verbal abuse of the trainers. Apparently they call you bums and stuff like that in the game, and uh, you know, uh, I guess that offended some people from what I was reading, which I think is hilarious because the game can call you a lot worse things than a bum. But they're going to be eliminating that apparently. But they did put in the game where the people who stand outside of the ring, you know, just watching, will swear at you and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I guess it it's different if somebody in the the crowd does that rather than the guy who's training you. Which, 
I think it's kind of interesting because if you're offended by that, I think that's pretty funny because it's boxing. So being called a bum, it seems like that just comes with boxing. It's part of the cliche, you know, just from watching Rocky and stuff like that. He always got called a bum. Everybody got called a bum. You weren't cool unless you were called a bum. So that'll be interesting to see. I'm sure I'll probably laugh at that a little bit, see what they call call you instead of a bum, if anything at all. The game's already mature, too, so I don't know who they were trying to trying to, uh, to please on that one. Call you a lot worse things. But anyway, things are still going good so far in the match. Uh, my stamina is running a little bit low. Ross definitely has a lot more stamina than I do. But the thing is, is I've got some more damage than he does. So I've been doing better at keeping myself healthy than he has. Going with those body shots have really been the key for me here. He definitely seems to block higher up. So he's always leaving his body open. But I'm still, like I said, going for the face every once in a while. Just to try and, and mix it up. Oh, I totally dodged a bullet on that one. He was winding up for something. You can see he's trying to back up from me. Or at least he has been. Now he starts going towards me. I'm just trying to keep him at bay with some jabs. No knockdowns yet. Almost had one. Or he almost had one on me. So, But because this is such an evenly... You know, fought match. I'm not surprised I haven't seen anything like that. I have a feeling this one's going to go the whole way, though. All right, I got 66 points. I'm definitely going to be spending that on some stamina. Because I can definitely see that just as I'm I'm boxing, I'm being a lot more, more careful already. One, because I don't want to use up the stamina not, that I have left. And two, because I simply can't. Because my stamina is, is pretty low. I'm still going to try and be as conservative as I can with the stamina, though. Try not to use too much. Just go inside. Just for a little bit. And come back out. I'm doing a lot more strategy on this match than probably what you've seen in the last couple commentaries. So I've, uh, I've learned my lesson, guys. I'm not flailing about trying to get more hits than them. It's all about getting the more effective punches on them, which I've definitely seen come from the body. So you're seeing a lot of... Right jabs, right hooks, right there to the kidney. It's been working out pretty well, which you can obviously see from the damage meter that's been working there too. Um, still a little bit at a disadvantage on the stamina by spending those points, but he's not getting nearly as much. Ooh, that was a good hit. He's not getting nearly as much. All right, so I got him here. I'm just going crazy, just jabs right and left. Hopefully I can get him. Ah, he grabbed me at the last second. <laughs> I really do want to get a headbutt and uh, knock him down with that. I think that would be absolutely hilarious. Now there's my headbutt for the match. I was just so mad I didn't get that one. Grabs me right at the last second. I got a headbutt him. Got about well, a little less than a minute left in the round. Uh, this one has definitely been going my way. Had a lot more counters like that. I have... Uh, had some better punches in there on him. Did get him dazed there for a little bit. Was able to take advantage of it too just by getting a number of hits on him. So if anything, I reduced his damage a lot more. Hopefully we'll see in the next round. I'll be able to get something like that. You know, but this time with a knockdown. But here's hoping. Gosh, what was that on his part? Haymaker there that did nothing. See, he doesn't really block the stomach that much. So that was a good way to end that round with just a little combo there to the gut mixing it up with the face there too 44 points I'm four away from getting the stamina so I'll probably get some next round alright so here we go with round five are you guys excited for champion I mean I just keep reading about some of the changes that they make in and just looking at some trailers and stuff like that one of the things I always get excited for for Fight Night, it seems, is improvements with the graphics. Because like I was saying in the earlier commentary, I just loved how Fight Night Round 3 looked. You know, Because that was really the first visually stunning game on the 360 that I would say you know, had come out. I loved it. And then Fight Night Round 4 had some definite improvements. Apparently with Champion, they're continuing with that too. And it... I don't know, I think that's cool because I think it shows we might not have reached the full potential of the Xbox 360 yet. 
you know, we're not at that point like on the we got on the PS2 where it was like, all right, well, we know we've got, you know, we've reached the limit. There's really not too much that we can do, and it seems like that's when they really started developing the PS3. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering when the next system would come out. I think that'll be kind of crazy too. Oh, he had a good counter right there. But we'll see. I'm got the Kinect, so that's what I've been doing. I think that's pretty sweet. That's definitely going to be the next generation of gaming, I think. And I'm going to be getting a <laughs> boxing game for the Kinect here pretty soon. I'm still not going to be leaving this, but I think it'll be cool just to have, just to play against my friends, do some boxing there, get a good workout in. This round's been going uh, pretty much my way here, too. He's had some good counters, but so have I. Some good hits. Still not blocking the, the body. So I'm going crazy with that. But this round, I've been doing some more shots to the face. Some more punches there, just because hopefully I can get the computer to think that that's the trend. Or that's the direction I'm going to be going, is going for the head. That hasn't been working too well. So, now with 65 points, obviously I'm going to be spending towards stamina for what might be or what will be actually the last round going to be going with the 45 and a, or I'm sorry a 48 and a 12 points so this is the most I can get out of my points I know I got 5 left but I spent it all on stamina because my damage is fine I'm not too worried about that I'm not bleeding or anything like that I'm actually surprised nobody's bleeding but I guess with him it's been more body shots than anything Oh, got me with that one. That was a wind-up. Should have seen that one coming. So I'd like to know what you guys think about the boxing commentaries. Because just as I've been looking, I mean, I've gotten a lot more feedback about the baseball ones than I have about Fight Night. So if you guys want to keep seeing these, let me know. I'll keep doing them if you don't want to see them. And there's enough people who say that they don't want to see it. I mean, that's definitely something I'll do, too. But he's dazed. Uh, just going with a number of jabs to the face, shots to the body. Come on. Ah, oh, you don't grab me. Dang it. He did it again. Just grabbed me right at the last second. That is annoying. He's going to town on his, on his body right there. All right. Let's see what I can do in this last about minute and 20 seconds. See, he's trying to go for the body, too. He's actually been wasting a lot of his punches just because I'm playing more outside than I was earlier. I mean, when I created him, I gave him a long reach. Nice left hook. Get some dazed. Oh, here we go. Come on. No. Did it again. But an uppercut <laughs> when he's not dazed. That's what gets him. Look at that. Just right there to the chin. See it again. That is awesome. Even when he's not dazed, I can still get in there, hit him with the right, and he will drop down to the mat. That definitely will put this this round in favor of me. Only five seconds, not a knockout, which is kind of a shame because all my matches have been knockouts except Ross. I was definitely going a little bit higher in the rankings with him than what I've been going with some of the guys earlier. All right, got about 10 seconds left. Hopefully this goes in my favor. I'm just going to try and avoid him here as much as I can and just take this one. Yep, decision goes towards me. That is awesome. That was a good match. That was actually pretty tough too. So nice job by Ross for keeping up with me, but I was able to find out. Looks like every judge say I, I won every round except the first judge who said I lost the first round, but hey, I'll definitely take that. It's a win. But thanks for dropping by, guys, for watching this Fight Night commentary. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys do. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That helps me out. That lets me know people care and people want to watch this. And that makes me wanting to keep making uh, these, too. But thanks so much again for dropping by.